my name is Sally Ann Seder. I'm British. Um, so I've been living in this area now for more than 30 years, and I've been working for the IPU for more than 20 years. My title here at the Interparliamentary Union, I'm the Conference Services Officer. Well, um, my, first, uh, my first degree is in hotel management, and I studied that until I was 21. Then I moved over to here, and then during my, uh, my working life, I did a degree in international relations in parallel to working. So my job really is to make sure that my colleagues and our delegates have everything that they need to be able to hold their meetings during an IPU conference. So we have two conferences a year, the proper title is Interparliamentary Union Assemblies. One usually takes place in March, April outside of Geneva, and then the second one in October is always here in Geneva at the CICG. So who's attending our assemblies? We have about six, seven hundred uh, members of parliament, another seven hundred people, advisors, secretaries, and other staff. So we're looking at a participation in general of thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred people, um, of which about fifty are speakers of parliament, so the top person within parliament, or vice speakers of parliament, deputy speakers. So we have the meeting in March, April abroad. So that entails my working very closely with the parliament which has invited us. For example, next March we will be going to Vietnam and we will be holding our conference in Hanoi. Well, when I started out I intended to work in hotels. But in actual fact my job today is quite similar to the hotel trade, events management. So in fact I have the right background for the job that I've been doing here for the past 10 years. When I joined the uh, IPU more than 20 years ago, I was in the document service, and then little by little I started working with one of my colleagues more on the organisation of our, our meetings. And so that I, about 12 years now I've been doing this. So the hotel background is extremely useful because the work is so diversified and because I have to work with people of many different levels and from around the world. Skills required for my job, diplomacy, patience, um, open to cultures from around the world, um, being able to multitask, because uh, I, as I said, I start meeting off with the parliaments who are going to host us, and then I say to them, we're now a team. I'm in Geneva, you're on the other side of the world, and I'm going to accompany you every step of the way to ensure that you organise a successful event. Um, positive aspects of the fact that I, I travel around the world, I meet with people uh, from, around, from around the world. Um, I also like the working environment. We have a very, very uh, pleasant working environment here at the IPU. It's challenging, it's very varied, my, my job. Negative aspects, stress, um, especially the run-up to the assembly, six weeks before, during the assembly, there's a lot of stress. We receive quite a lot of uh, queries from our members and others at the same time as trying to organise the event. So there's quite a lot of stress, but uh, on the whole I can't think of many negative aspects. I love my job. No, I can't say that there's any one particular project or, or mission that I've enjoyed more than another. No. All of them are interesting and, and a challenge and very satisfying. International Geneva is, uh, is something we work with very closely. Um, I, I have the opportunity of working with a lot of the permanent missions here in Geneva when we have our, our conferences. In 2010, we organized the Speakers Conference, which is a, every, takes place every five years, and we held it at the UN, on the UN premises, and we had, I think, 130 speakers from around the world attended this event. So then we, we were able to work more closely with the missions. 
Um, I also interact with different organizations here in Geneva. And of course the CICG, where we hold our meetings, that's part of the FIPWA, and it's also part of International Geneva. And we have really excellent working conditions at the CICG. I think it's a, it's a very enriching experience. And uh, a lot of uh, young people are interested today in event management. I think that uh, it, could be, uh, it could be a basis if they were to do international affairs, degree, and then a master's, but also some work in, in the hotel industry. It's, it's a good background to have if you're more interested in this practical and technical organization of our events rather than being directly involved with the actual meetings and the substantive side.